everyone, it's Dana. Thank you for joining me tonight live in the lounge. I'm flying solo tonight. My sister is on some heavy deadline projects, so it's just gonna be me tonight. Um, I wanna thank everyone that joined me last week. Jamie and I had the pleasure of interviewing Natalie of Lotus Cove Wellness. We learned all about sexual wellness, um, things you can do to get yourself more comfortable, um, some great pointers. It was a lot of fun. But tonight we're talking about something that has nothing to do with sexual wellness. It has to do with something that we do day in and day out. And it's clean. I don't know about you, but every minute I am cleaning. The kids walk in the kitchen, I'm cleaning. They walk out of the kitchen, I'm cleaning. Um, but I don't think we realize what um, maybe we're, we're actually using to clean our surfaces and our clothes. And so we, I am going to bring on now one of my very good friends, Kim Dorsey. You might know her from the spa world. She is a Jill instead of a Jack. She is a Jill of all trades. She is absolutely fabulous. So I am going to now welcome Kim into live in the lounge. Hey there. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy Thursday. What I a week it's been. I know it's been great. It's, time is flying. A week from today, we're going to actually be in Thanksgiving. Uh, can you believe that? It, I yeah. still feel like I'm still in March and just getting um, more, treading more water as I go every day. <laughs> I feel like March ends and then March begins again. It's like Groundhog, it's Groundhog Month. Every month, it just keeps going over. Going and going and going. Mm -hmm. so thanks for having me tonight. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. I'm glad I get to at least see you like on the screen. I know life has been so busy and we there's I think time is going by faster than ever. Yeah. And I'm busier than I've ever been. I think that's awesome. So tell me what you've been up to. Um, well, as you know, I went back to school. I just finished um, with my project management from FAU. Congratulations. Um, that's awesome. Yes, but now I've got to really buckle down and study for the big test, for the PMP test, and I'm not a good studier, so I need help. Is there like a, like study classes or like study groups that you could? Uh... There are study classes. I did the study two study classes from FAU already, but it's just mm -hmm. like the binders. There's two binders. They're like this thick, and it's just a lot of information that you have to study for. Yeah, but you're so motivated and so driven. I think it might may feel overwhelming, but you're going to rock it. You know it. I'm going to try. You're going to do it. I got it. You're going to do it. Even if I have my 14 year old daughter take the test for me, maybe because she's very smart. <laughs> maybe. Between her lacrosse and all the other things that she's doing too, right? Oh, yeah. And then last week she tells me, mom, I'm going to be the um, manager for the soccer team. So now she doesn't play soccer, but she's the manager of the soccer team. And then she texts me last night for the game. Mom, I'm now videotaping the boys games. <laughs> Not girls games, but the boys. That's odd. You know what? I know it's like so much, but I I, lo I love her motivation. I know where she gets it from. I know it's scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A little so scary. Fun. So the funny part is if you would have asked me to come on your show and talk about cleaning in March, I would say you have the wrong girl. And I still think you have the wrong girl about cleaning because if you were saw my house, it's overwhelming and I'm overwhelmed by it, right? Sometimes with all the clutter. It's it's everyone. I understand completely. Yeah. Right. Where do we put everything with the kids? Like seriously, we bring one I more love it from one spot to the next. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we are talking about cleaning. So a few episodes back, I talked about the environment. And I talked about um, trying to live a plastic-free life, but not necessarily entirely plastic-free, but how to be a little bit more environmentally conscious when it comes to how we live. Now, um, fortunately, but unfortunately, we have a lot of time to think about other things and how we're utilizing um, different products and services and things like that. So it was kind of interesting when you brought up about Clean Republic. So my first question for you is, 
I'm cleaning. Oh, I go to the store. I pick up a cleaning product. And I'm like, oh, it's got a cool scent. Or it says like whatever. And I use it. But in all actuality, I don't really know if the ingredients are bad for me, for the environment. Like how do you even know or good question and that's what we're finding out through covid we have one problem which is covid right mm -hmm. and we don't want we want to stop the spread of it so what are we doing we're over cleaning and we're <laughs> over cleaning and we're picking things that have that smell that have that bleach the ammonia those chemicals in there and we don't realize we're creating another problem because those chemicals are causing um asthma they cause lung conditions they could cause they're known to cause cancer allergies, skin condition. And so many people, their hands are dry. They're using alcohol on their hands and their hands are drying out or their rashes or they're, they're sensitive. So I was lucky that I came across this a company called Clean Republic back in um, May and they just launched October, 2019. And their chemicals, if you read the label, you got, it's all about reading the labels, right? Exactly. And it's water, salt, and electricity, which is hypochloric acid. So hypochloric acid is actually in our bodies, helping with our immune system. Right. So they were able to take that hypochloric acid and improve the shelf life on that. Cause this used to be used for burn victims back in the war. Really? So this, this, like the, the day, wait, so they, these ingredients, I'm trying to get this out. I'm sorry. Were used for burn victims. The hypochloric acid. Yes. Which is okay. water, salt and electricity. So they were able to work with scientists to stabilize it and have a shelf life on it. That's where Clean Republic comes in to affect. Okay. So it, it has a little bit of an odor. It's like a chlorine odor and that'll dissipate once you spray it. But people come in like, oh, I got to use the bleach. I got to use the bleach and it's got to smell. But what's happening, and, and I'm talking to a lot of spas and fitness centers, one was so, um, a country club in the area, they just got new orchids on a Friday. By Monday, all the leaves were off because they were over cleaning with the fogger and the chemicals that if you ever look at some of those directions with the, what's in there, you know, it says cover your hands, wear a mask, avoid your eyes. This right here, it's water, salt, and electricity. I can gargle with it. I can spray it over my computer, right? It's amazing. So, but you can do that with bleach. Or anything no. else. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> yeah, because your eyes, your eyes, you know, it causes burns. You know. How did they realize that they could use this in this ingredient, these trios of the water, the salt? But how did they know that they could use it for cleaning? Like I think it's so amazing. It seems they like they're using like, it. Um, they had a company and they were using it on plants. And they discovered it through the plant lives, and it was cleaning the plants and the plant the plants were flourishing. So okay. then they stumbled upon it that way. And that's how we got Clean Republic that came out a couple of years later after that. Okay. So they decided they were going to like, re it's really reimagining or reinventing how people clean. So it's your cleaning safer. We're cleaning safer. You and know? You're, you're not cleaning. It's not. And it's for the environment. Mm -hmm. You're safer for the environment. It's sustainable. Because right now, if you, I don't know if you go into a grocery store or if you go into different places, you'll, you'll just like, what's that smell? Like fitness, centers, like what's that smell? And what's happening is the chemicals that are in there are deteriorating the equipment, the product. Um, like I know one of the, I was talking to the, one of the companies the other day that makes massage beds. The fixturing and the fabrics are deteriorating quicker because of the chemicals that are being sprayed with the big foggers and stuff. And you can use this. This kills 99.9%. Yes, this is, improved, this is approved by the EPA. It's on the end list. And it is known to kill the coronavirus. Now, if you have it, it's not going to cure you from the coronavirus. But say a pathogen's in the air, it's going to kill that virus that's in the air. And that's been approved by the EPA. I think that's why I have none left because my husband keeps using it. I'm like, oh my gosh, like even tonight, I'm like, it's really light. We're like, <laughs> and I feel, I feel good about using it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't feel, um, I understand how I was one of those people that thought the bleach smell, the ammonia smell, like it was a smell of clean, but I actually I hated the smell at the same time. But then your throat started hurting, your eyes started burning and your yep. skin was itching. 
and you're getting a headache. Yeah, and you're like, what is that from? I was just cleaning. But I was just cleaning. The house is clean. Looks yep. clean. It must be clean. I went over a girlfriend's house for dinner. She had us over there, like right when things were getting lifted. Mm -hmm. And um, she used bleach and ammonia. She mixed them. And she goes, I almost didn't make it because she got a really bad headache. She was fainting. Yeah. 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 So uh -huh. it's really, and I didn't really take a look into it until actually COVID came about and um, learning about this. Like, you know, you, you get those Lysol wipes, you get the Lysol wipes and you wipe everything mm -hmm. down, but then it has that smell. Right. So using bleach once a week is equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh gosh, that's insane. Mm -hmm. So the damage it does, so it, it's damage that it does to your lungs. Damage that you're done to your lungs. And Eco Labs is out there, and I don't mean to trash any companies, but there are class law, class action lawsuits against some of these cleaning companies for what they have known to cause. It's kind of like the cigarette um, company, tobacco companies. Yeah. It's like the, the secondary, the side effects from it. So I think um, I'm cleaning more, but I'm a little bit happier to clean. I yeah. hate cleaning. I think we all hate cleaning, right? I don't know who likes yeah, to clean. I don't like it. <laughs> it is not on my top 10 or 20. <laughs> or <laughs> no, don't like it, right? But at least it's good for the environment. They are very conscious of the environment and they are very supportive and they give back to the local community and all, overall the global community. So um, I know I have here, I have the everyday cleaner that I use. Mm -hmm. recently, and I also have the, um, the disinfectant sanitizer. Yeah, the disinfectant is one that's um, approved by the EPA. This one's not, but this is like you'll use, you wipe down your counters, and then when you're done with the kitchen, you'll go in and spray it with the DNS. Okay. And what oh. I really like is these little credit card holder things, these hand sanitizers. Oh, I love mine. I have the green one. It was so, when I first got it, I didn't know how to open it. <laughs> but I know I it's confusing, right? But we got new packaging. No, but I love it because A, it's slim, mm -hmm. but when I you spray it, you don't smell anything. You don't smell anything bad. And it's like, it's not it's soft on your skin. Yeah. It's not sticky. It's like, oh, I see. So that has the spray in the middle. I thought this was very like 007. I liked it. I like, yeah, I like that. I'm just seeing this one for the first time now. I like it. What is Hochi? It says made with Hochi. That oh, is, that's a uh, hypochloric acid. That is okay. that, what do you yeah. call it? Chemistry? What, what is the chemistry? What do you call those? Um, the elements. I don't know the name for H2O. Oh, the they're the well, they're elements on the periodic table, which I should know because I just went over this with both of my sons are taking some form of chemistry, and I should have known each. Other. <laughs> oh, and you're helping? I can't even help. I can't even help my seventh grader or ninth grader. No, I know it's a math. I'm like it could be this, um, and I'm kind of like googling on the side to try to help them, but. No, like my daughter is telling me about my daughter. Like I, her um, advanced physics teacher called today. She's in ninth grade. So she's uh, maxed out every grade in class possible. She's getting the, the most, like highest, like everything she does, like 100. Like I couldn't get like a 10% in these classes. <laughs> I think that's awesome. No, I hear you. I, and, and that they're doing well through all the changes, like what's going on with the mm -hmm. birth or like, you know, both of my boys are virtual right now. Your daughter's in school, right? Well, she's hybrid, so she goes back and forth. Okay. One day, week it'll be three days, the next week will be two. So both your boys are... Both of the boys are virtual. Um, one of them went back for like a week and he was like, he went back more for the socialization more than anything. Mm -hmm. but there's two or three kids in his class. So he's like, I'd rather, you know, school from home. Um, they're still in sports, which is great because they still socialize and we're mm -hmm. running from, like you, soccer field to baseball field to like all over so field, yeah. socialization safely, you know, but, um, for them to still keep up, you know, keep up the good work with the school. I'm super proud of your daughter. That's so awesome. So are they finding it hard to learn and retain from home? Oh, oh yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, it, it's, it's just, it's a shame. Um, I'm usually really hard on them. But I, I had to I had to like 
lessen my uh, expectations. Our, yeah, and I don't blame them. I mean, it's just it's it is what it is. I, that, I say this every like five times a day. It is what it is. We work with what we have. We're learning different things, you know. I mean, we totally morphed it. I don't think Zoom ever thought that they were going to be as popular as they were come COVID, you know, before COVID. Um, Technology is advanced. We're learning more about products. Now, are your boys able to get up, get out of the bedroom and come to a desk and sit there and do it? Or are they like on the couch or are they? They're in their rooms. But so for their for their core classes, they have to be outside of their room. So they have okay. a book from school so they have to leave their room because that's where their gaming computer is their xbox also which is a little bit tempting um but if it's a non-core class i don't even know my husband made this up if it's a non-core class they could be in their room i don't know just for change of scenery or whatever okay and my kitchen became the cafeteria you know <laughs> okay okay and then are you so you're not home during the day so are you leaving uh they're doing it themselves well, my husband works from home, so oh. yeah. So he, he's Principal Peller. Uh, <laughs> wow! I walk You're in like, the door. I'm out of here. You're like it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm out. Bye. See you. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm like I come in after work, and I'm like, is everyone okay? And everything's good. And and he's he's helping with dinner. He, well, he makes dinner. Helping with dinner. Oh. He makes dinner. But um. It's been a change, but it's been good. I think we're learning a lot about ourselves. We're learning a lot that we are much more resilient, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which I think is huge. Um, and we're learning how to make ourselves healthier, you know, not, and we're, going, we're outside more. I never saw half of my neighbors until this happened. Like, I know, right? We're all going for walks or, you know, we're trying to like keep ourselves busy. And I'm like, holy cow, when did that kid grow? Right. Yes. Um, real fast. What are you binge watching? Um, I we just started the Queen's Gambit. Oh, I um, heard that's great. I have to watch that. I watched the first one's phenomenal. Everyone said it's great. Um, we just finished the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Okay. What about is, the Undoing on HBO? No, I heard about that. I want. Oh my gosh, so good. You please yeah. watch it like this weekend so we can talk about it. Okay. What else are you watching? Um, Emily in Paris, did you watch that? Yes, I love that. Oh, oh my god. god, I wanted more episodes. Um, I binged that, but um, was, first it was kind of slow. I'm like, oh, this is kind of stupid, but then once she go, was going on the dates and her wardrobe choices and stuff, it got really fun. Yeah, I like, I always like to see what she was wearing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So that's one thing is uh, we've learned to binge watch and, I and mean, um, a lot of Gilmore girls and a lot of um. There's this medical thing my daughter watches, like CSI, some mystery um, show that she watches. And you guys watch together. That's it's cool. not Law and or Order, but it's something like Law and Order. And the guy from Dartmouth and Greg is in it. Oh, I forget the name of it, but it's it's like all these mysteries. Oh, see, that's cool. I would that those are the books that I listen to in the car because my commute's an hour each way. So a lot of the books that I listen to are, are mystery ish. They keep me. Um, intrigued during the hour okay. hour ride each way but um okay so we're gonna get back to cleaning because this was <laughs> i feel so bad yeah. you know, so long, like what are you doing um so cleaner public they're a year old now happy mm -hmm. anniversary to them anniversary in october yes um and so did they approach you or you heard about them from someone else the they approached me, a friend of mine uh, called me about this company, and then here we are today. And I just fell in love with um, their energy, their passion, and the direction. And what's I'm in the spa business, the hospitality business, but this goes to every business. We're like doing really well in schools and in hospitals, um, cleaning companies, um, the San Francisco 49ers, so um, athletic teams, fitness centers, yoga studios, banks, real estate offices. So because people want to keep them safe and they want to keep their employees safe. And, and and they have to clean. So why don't you clean with safe safe products? Yeah, That's really interesting because I could see, um, I know when you first introduced it to me, um, I could see how it could go in hand in hand with spas, but it, it really fits in perfectly with absolutely every industry because anything and everything that you do, 
you have to clean. You have to make sure that you're sanitary. And these days you really have to clean. Like before it was like, mm -hmm. but now you mm -hmm. have to be accountable. Oh, I know. It's crazy. I'm like, and the good thing about it is this is approved by the National Restaurant Association and it can be um, with um, food. So you can use it in the kitchen. That's amazing. Yeah. Don't worry about Because you know, like you're cleaning and there's got that lead, lead time that goes. We got some schools in Miami that we're working with. And you know how you only have like seven or eight minutes in between classes, but it was taking 15 to 20 minutes to turn those classrooms around because of the setting time. And you could, it was too harmful for the kids to go back in the classroom. This is immediate. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. Do you hear my son singing and my husband's trying to tell him to not? He's rapping in the background. I'm like, oh, what are they singing? I don't know. I don't understand their music. I feel like such an old lady. I can't understand the words. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's not that you can't understand them. You just don't want to repeat them. <laughs> God. Oh Remember when we grew up, we weren't allowed to listen. I was telling my um, daughter about Footloose the other day and how they couldn't dance and they couldn't music. And she's like, what? I said, yeah. 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 We weren't allowed to have bad music and bad lyrics. No. And oh my gosh. Or bad television shows. Forget it. You put it on TV at seven o'clock at night. And I'm like, I blush at some of the stuff that I see. I'm like, we never had that growing up. Oh my God. The kids in high school, what they're doing in high school and what they're wearing on TV. It's like, yeah. I know. I know. Maybe it's good that they're in a bubble now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. Bubble. Um, so what are, so I know that you sent me a really cool message earlier that the followers of the Modern Mom Lounge get like a super special discount. So yes, so we want to honor a discount for um, your viewers and all your um, friends and family out there. A fifteen percent discount. That's awesome. and you'll have the website and the link on that. Yes, and so we'll also post that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is after the show, I will post the actual link to go on and purchase as well as um, the code so that you guys can get, have everything right at your fingertips. Now, is this something where are they looking for representatives to be a part of the business or it's, is it just for the consumer or? It's for consumer. Okay. This is really cool. I'm so glad you stumbled on this. It, it almost like. Okay, you broke up there. Ask me that question again because I want to make sure I understood it. You were breaking up. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hi, I can't hear you. I'm just one a little bit short. Okay, um, you know. Questions to ask him, but she can't. Ask is at the end. Coffee or tea? Coffee. I'm back. Sorry about that. I think there's some Hi. Wi-Fi. Hi. Hi. You dropped off for a minute there. Sorry. Okay. Favorite flower. Oh, I love a pink tulip. When you are not working, what are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm, t I'm driving my kids. I mean, from A to B to Z. <laughs> like on Sunday, I left my house at 830 in the morning to chop one off at lacrosse. Mm -hmm. And I literally did not get home till eight o'clock at night from driving back and forth and who needed a ride and between lacrosse, my daughter's lacrosse, um, my son's tutor, my daughter's CCD, feeding them in between like nonstop. I might have been <laughs> home for 45 minutes to put some stuff in the washer. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the good thing about this, you put it in the washer where you put the bleach and it disinfects. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, so it's really good, especially with um, COVID to make sure that you're rinsing everything off. And getting um, really good to know. Yeah. So really I put it where you put the bleach in the mm -hmm. washing machine. 
that little right book. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so what's your favorite book? MacBook. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer. Actually, I like that one a lot. And yeah. do you have a favorite quote? Favorite quote. Um. I, well, it's probably my own. Why put off what you can do to? Why put off what you can do today till tomorrow? Wait, what is that? Why put off what you can do tomorrow? What you could do today? But, That's totally your your like motto. I feel yeah. like because my son does that to me all the time. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm like, no, we're gonna do it now. Exactly. It. Yeah, you get more done that way. Exactly. Just check it off your list. Get it done. Check it off. Right. What's your favorite flower? Mine is hydrangea. Oh, yes. And sunflower, actually. Sunflower is like my number, number one, but I'm really loving hydrangea lately. Mm, I love hydrangeas. I, mean, I seem to kill them. I have to work on that. I know, I kill all flowers. Now, what about coffee or tea? Uh, coffee. Actually, coffee or green tea. I like iced green tea. Okay, and then what's your favorite book? My favorite book right now is... Um, Oh my gosh, what's the name of it? I can't believe I forgot the name. I just finished reading it and I was like, I was so, oh, it's called An, um, A Knock at Midnight. It's a, um, it's a true story. It's a nonfiction about this girl that was living in the inner cities in Texas and um, she went through a really hard childhood. Her mother was a um, mm -hmm. addict. Uh, and she's completely, she turned herself into this amazing renowned attorney and she was fighting for um prisoners that were in jail for oh. the it was maximum um there was there was a, a law that has since been re uh, removed but it was like uh, minimum sentences for certain drug related and I, i'm destroying the whole point of the story but it was a phenomenal phenomenal book she's absolutely amazing she's so motivating um, I'll definitely, I'll put the post, the link to the, the book below, but it has been, it was, it just really moved me. I, I want to read that. It was really yes. good. It was really I good. I think it's my favorite book. I just don't have a chance to read. Like I listened to the car. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. You could take them out from the library. You download the cloud library app and you put in your library card and you can actually download the audio books. Oh my God. That's good to know. It's awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I love like, it. I go through them like nonstop. Um, so I, oh, I have the hiccups. I definitely recommend that. Okay, good. And your favorite quote is <laughs> lately, it is what it is. <laughs> mm hmm. You gotta just, you know. No, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Are you cooking or are you ordering out? Yeah. Ordering out? We're cooking. Rich loves to cook, and I love that he loves to cook. So my parents are coming over, and his mom. We've always kept it really small. And my sister is actually flying down, so I'm very excited. I get to see her on Saturday. So, okay, small, good. Small, just hanging out. Okay. Thing. Watching the Macy's Day Parade. I think it's going to be virtual now, which probably won't be the same. But well, I think us as viewers, it's going to be the same. They're just not going to have the crowd, as I understood. Oh, okay. I, I took it totally the wrong way then. Okay, that's good then. I'm I don't mind because I can't get there, so I'd rather I'm gonna watch it on the. I mean, I don't think they're gonna have like the marching bands and everything, but as I'm understanding, they're still gonna have those floats. Like Savannah and Al are still gonna be there and Hoda, uh -huh. but you're just not gonna have those busy crowds, right? But the viewers on TV, I think, are still gonna see a break. Oh, see, that's cool. Okay, then I'm good. And then so most importantly. Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right there. Right. Although I do have to tell you, I put my Christmas tree up like the second week in October. How did you have time? I was just like, you know what? It's 2020, I'm putting the tree up. <laughs> and so your kids probably want um, their presents, right? And they, have presents. To, they have to wait, <laughs> but the tree is up. It makes me happy. I was like, you know what? It makes me happy when I look at it, we're putting it up. My one son is not getting any presents for Christmas. Why? Oh, because he had authorization to buy like twenty dollars worth of lures, fishing lures, on my credit card, but he bought four hundred twenty dollars worth of. No. Oh, no. So he had three options: lose his phone for a month, return okay. everything, uh -huh. or don't get anything for Christmas. And he chose nothing for Christmas. 
We have a signed contract, you know. So he bought for he bought his Christmas gift early. Yeah, so we're gonna be wrapping the the lures. And everything. Yes. That's crazy. Be careful with that. <laughs> I know because they're very sharp. I've yeah. Tried. Yeah. All right, my dear. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope I get to see you in person soon. But in the meantime, stay safe. And enjoy your sister. She'll be here in two days. Thanks. I know. I'm so excited. Right around the corner. Yay. Bye. Bye. And then um, Clean Republic, you've got the um, the link link there oh, and the 15% of the code for the 15% um, off. And it's good through December 31st. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.